Hi. So, uh, we will have pictures of my artwork. I'm here because um, Julia, who I know many years, since uh, she was a child, she asked me for a second time, what make me uh, an artist? And she asked me to come and talk about that here. What make an artist an artist? Is it the ability or the necessity to express the inner self, the pleasure to create as uh, nature does? To draw a thought or an idea, to invent or to take a trip in an imaginative space? Is it a lifestyle? It is the eagerness of immortality, the passion of exploring and befriending the unknown. Is art maybe a space, an asylum, where, where someone hides from reality? A way to isolate feelings, sensibility and emotion, as maybe Buddha did? Is it maybe a way to escape of reality? Or is it a healing power, a new energy, or a way to freedom? Even since I remember myself, I was an artist. So it was very difficult to answer this. Answer what made me an artist. I thought that I was born an artist. So I grow up with the idea that I am one, and that I am this kind of an animal. For example, I'm not uh, an athlete, or I'm not a ballet dancer, which associ I associate with great discipline and maybe uh, teamwork. An artist stands at the middle of the universe by himself. A big frame is in between the world and the artist. This isolation is necessary, even by his more social self. He needs that because he needs to conceive and to get the inspiration. The artist has a parallel existence with his life, the ability of absence, and has many points of view at the same time. After the artist lays his eggs, he, he lays his eggs, he needs friends an audience. He needs to share what he does. Then he needs to ex be exposed. Like a tree full of fruits, he needs to be relieved from his own weight. This separation of the artist from his art is painful. As I've never seen my art and my art pieces as products. I see them as gifts from a higher being to me, from a higher self or even something above her. The art pieces become little totems looking for their own temples, being placed in their own interspace, creating the map of their existence. Where I meet them, I'm home. But I'm home often in other people's universes. An artist who is an art lover is home at the dimension of art, music, philosophy. He's never alone. He's a ghost surrounded by other spirits. He knows that there is neither a beginning nor an ending in anything that he's always just at the middle of a story. An old story, a new one, another version, or a new path. He knows that none of this matters because he's not, he don't need to rationalize the irrational. Parallel universe, microcosms, physiognomies, expressions, symbols, and fragments adventures and magic hours fill every moment of my life, of the people I love at this world or at the other world. 
that was the conception of the cosmos around me, my spectrum, and the idea of me on the middle of that. Often people think that art is a reaction, and this is wrong. Art is life. Art is action against inactivity. The necessity of doing is the rotation against gravity. Once they say at the Indian mythology, as Julia asked me, they ask Krishna, Krishna, why you dance? Why you keep dancing? And he said, but if I stop, the world will fail. <laughs> so for me, this is art. And I think that if you have it, it's your duty to follow that. We are this type of animal. Thank you.